Hello, pre-calculus students, and welcome to our continuing series of videos here on working and evaluating logarithms. And uh, in this video, we're just going to do a bunch of examples. And to kind of mimic what's on your homework, I'm going to do all the odd ones, and then you're going to do all the even ones on your own. If you're in Mr. Wen's class, ask Mr. Wen on whenever you see him next if you need help. Otherwise, uh, ask your teacher for help. And... Um, you are definitely expected uh, to do these problems, to do the, the even problems on your own. Okay, so let's get started right away here. Natural log of e to the third. We remember here, natural log, let me refresh your memory, natural log of some number is really log base e of that same number. It's just, it's just another name for it. Okay, gets used so frequently in mathematics that we make it, we give it its own name. Okay. So now, for this here, we can just rewrite this as log base e of e to the third. Okay. And remember, we since we don't know um, what this is equal to, we'll just set it equal to x. And then we'll, we'll solve this for x. So remember, the base is e. So we know that e to the x, this is the base, this is the exponent, is equal to the expression inside it. So log base or e to the x is equal to e to the third therefore x must be equal to three and again i'm doing all the odd ones you do all the even ones so let's look at number three this is common log so this is log base 10. Okay. We'll set this equal to x so we'll say that uh, 10 to the x is equal to 10,000 and now we want to factor this, and we want to just keep dividing this number by 10 until eventually we get down to a scenario where uh, the, the bases are the same. Okay. Well, 10 to the x, 10,000 is really just 10 to the fourth. Okay, it's 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Therefore, x has to equal 4. You do the even one. Ah, now we get to this case, which is, which is a little bit unique because this time we're asked to evaluate a um, an exponent. Okay, and so this is not exactly an easy task, okay? but you'll see that it is very much doable. So again, um, we don't know what this is equal to, so we'll just set this equal to x, and this time we're going to convert to log form. Okay. This is an exponential form. We're going to convert to log form. And keep in mind here that in this particular example, this entire expression here, this is the exponent. Okay. The 7 here is the base. So we know then that log base 7 of x is equal to the exponent, which is log base 7 of 3. Well, now if you just look at it and just use substitution, you can see clearly that x and 3 are the same number. So in this case, we know that x is equal to 3. So you have a kind of a funny scenario or an unusual scenario here where you have a base raised to a power, but the power is, is has something has a logarithm in it. Okay, but it turns out that it's just the same thing as the val this value in here. Now you got to be careful with this. Please don't try to make up some some rule here yet until you can prove it. Um, until you can prove that a certain property is true, just do the work every single time. Okay? There is a rule. We will prove this later on. But until we prove it, and until you're sure of the proof. Please do not apply the rule because I there's a concern that you know you might apply it wrong or incorrectly unless you unless you fully understand it. Okay, so number six is kind of a similar example. Uh, number seven, I'm going to do this. Now this time it's a little bit different because the exponent, I mean the variable here, is not uh, is not an exponent. It's actually inside the expression. But we can still apply this. Remember, again, this is log base 10. 
So now I know that 10 to the fourth is equal to x. And this is simple enough. 10 to the fourth is just 10,000. I should really make a note here. This is saying solve for x. Same thing here. Solve for x. And then we, let's do number 9 together as well. And you do number 10. So here you have natural log of negative 3.3. So this is really log base e of negative 3.3. Well, I'll apply the same idea that we've been doing. Set this equal to some variable. e to the x is equal to negative 3.3. And this is an interesting scenario because you're looking for an exponent for e that's going to give you negative 3.3. And there is no solution to this problem. Because you can't raise a power you can't raise a positive number by a power and get a negative number. Let me reiterate this time. E is a positive number. This You're going to raise it to some exponent, and you're going to get a negative number. And that simply isn't possible. And let me show you uh, also a graphical representation of why this is uh, not possible here. So if I do E to the x using my standard window you can see here in the in the graph that it it all stays above zero okay it, it has, in fact e to the x has an asymptote at zero um, and that that's because you can't multiply a number repeatedly and get a get a negative answer okay? because the the number itself is positive and this again whenever you have natural log you can always check your answer and we can actually check this one. You can see natural log, whoops, natural log of negative 3.3. And it'll say non-real answer. All right, so we'll end this series of videos here. Um, the main ideas from, from this is just being just to get you some good practice in being able to evaluate expressions that have logarithms in them, that have exponents in them. And, and again, every single one of these problems needs to be done without a calculator. I know there's probably some way you can figure it out to solve this with a calculator by graphing, and that's great for some other problems that we will deal with later on, some more complex ones, but for the basic skills and concepts, you need to be able to do this completely on your own. Thank you for watching. As always, ask for help if you need it. Have a wonderful day.